This was a big week. It was right as reactions to the coronavirus started picking up steam, which effectively put an end to all live comedy. All my shows for the weekend were canceled, so I decided to do what I can to escape everything and go camping in the wilderness. Uh, thank you for being with me. When they get good, you'll be like, I was there when they sucked. Uh, so. <laughs> what else? If I remember any more, I'm going to do them in between acts. So. This might be the last open mic I do in a while because things are just getting canceled left and right. Everyone's afraid of the coronavirus. Hopefully everyone's being safe and everything like that. Hopefully I'm safe, so maybe it's a good thing all these things are getting canceled. It is a weird environment. Most of the bars were gone. I got like a few leftover bars. Phantom cart. So I think this is the famed toilet paper aisle. There is nothing on here. Looks like mainly just the crappy high-end stuff is left. <laughs> I've never seen that. the day I've been seeing convoys of military vehicles. It's not completely uncommon in this area, but I've, I've seen them a little more frequently. I do love quietness, so the wind is definitely not allowing that to happen. I'm descending. There will be no cell service. No sounds from the outside world. Nearest road's probably a couple miles away. Let me just check my progress. Looks like I went 1.2 miles. This is a beacon. If I uh, get lost, I pull it out and it will send help from satellite. I've really been hauling hard. I really want to get there before sundown. I think if I do like two miles an hour, I can do it, which is very manageable. The, the, these aren't maintained trails, but does seem to be some sort of like old trail, either used by animals or people. My feet are freezing. That water is so cold. I'm making great time, I'm almost there. That cave kind of goes in deep and I like went up to it and then I just got this wave of fear and I like shrieked and stuff. And I was like, maybe I'll just film it from afar.
cold, so I put on some socks. My underliner, so far it's been pretty good. There was a pretty windy period, but I had to re-secure some of these rocks. Holding pretty good. The stars were out and it was great. And then I guess the moon rose a little bit later, which was really interesting. Uh, I didn't know it worked like that. I'm almost having trouble falling back asleep because the moon is just shining so brightly into my tent. I must have woken up and gone back to sleep like three or four times. I got my sleep, though it is rather late. sweatpants, fleece, everything dry. I toweled off. I just got self-service back and I am checking my messages. Uh, nothing too major. Woo! Woo! Whoa! Black Betty Bam Blam! Whoa! Black Betty Bam Blam! Bam Blam Bam Blam! Want another song? Baby, your love will never grow old. It's evergreen! <laughs> oh, what's going on? I'm crazy! I don't see anyone but then this is a very uh, abandoned place. I mean, it's not abandoned, but it's the wilderness, baby. It's the wilderness and it's like 6.45 on a Saturday. So I don't know, fucking 